Hi everyone. This is another tutorial on my VP Studio system, and this one's probably the one you've been looking for. It's how to uh, use your own levels as virtual sets with my virtual production template. My older tutorial on migrating, it took a fair amount of time and uh, work, and it was a bit error prone. This new method is very fast and very easy. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you've got my original VP Studio project set up to work with all your hardware. If you get all the setup working, all the green screen aligned and camera stuff done, you'll find the next steps are very fast. So you can see right now I'm in my VP Studio project. And the first thing you need to do to uh, get your own level working with this is, is quit right out of there. And this brings us back to the Unreal Launcher. So we go back to Unreal Engine and our library. You can see here in my library I've got the uh, VP Studio, which I just left over here. So the first thing you want to do to use this with your own project is to make a clone of it. So I'm going to clone this and we'll call it import tutorial and create. And you can see the import tutorial up here. Now you have to decide what levels you want to add as virtual sets. There's two different ways you can do this. If you bought a lot of content off of the Unreal Marketplace, you'll notice that some things like Broadcast Studio here have a button that says Add to Project. Actually, that's the easy way to do it. You can just push that button and add it to the VP Studio project we just cloned. Some things, though, have a button that says create a project like this and this. Those take an extra step, but it's still really quick. Since both of these processes are almost identical, I'm going to show you the longer one first, which assumes that you have a project already. And the one I'm going to demonstrate is one people have asked me about. Uh, in my earlier demos, you saw me in a TV studio, which came from Unreal's Virtual Studio project. You can find this under the Learn tab by scrolling down a bit until you find Virtual Studio right here. You can go through that and download it, and then it will show up in your library down here as Virtual Studio, and you can create a project, which I've already done. That's this one right here. Uh, I haven't made any changes to it, it's just ready to go. So now I'm going to open it up. And it will probably open up to something that looks like this. Uh, basically what you want to do here is figure out which level in this project that you want to use as a Virtual Studio. There's several different ones in Virtual Studio Kit under Maps. And I think I'm going to use Studio B, which is a nice clean news studio. Now what I'm going to do is migrate the map Studio B and all its dependencies over to that import tutorial project we just created a few minutes ago. Now I had to resize things a little bit so you'll be able to see the menus I'm using. So I right click on Studio B, I choose Asset Actions, and I choose Migrate. And that brings up this report that shows everything that's going to be migrated. And normally this is going to be correct. So I just say OK. And now I just have to tell it where to migrate it to. And that's to the Import Tutorial Content Folder. And it'll take a few seconds. And you should get a message, which probably doesn't show up on the screen right now, that says that the migration was completed successfully. Once you've got that, you can quit this project. Now back on the Unreal Launcher, we can choose the Import Tutorial. Since this is just a copy of my VP Studio project, it's going to come up on the demo map that you see here. Uh, but we want to use that map that we just migrated. So we go into Virtual Studio Kit, Maps, and you'll see Studio B, which we migrated over. And I open it up. And now here's the fun part. All you have to do is go up to Windows and choose Levels. Under the Levels menu, you say the default streaming method is always loaded. And then you say Add Existing. And you go into my VP Studio Core folder and choose the VP Core map. Double check to make sure that the default streaming method is always loaded. It is. 
And you can see now that my template for virtual production is inside of the new set map. Now all you have to do to use it is come up and press play and you're in the virtual studio. Everything's already set up. You can pan the camera around and step out onto the green screen and everything will work just fine. To finish off the setup, you may want to add some more talent markers or move the talent markers around that I've already got there. Let me open the window up a little bit. You can see right now that I have a talent marker with a man on it over here. He's not really in a very interesting place, so I'm going to take him and I'm going to move him up onto the balcony here. And now when I press play again, I can switch to the next talent marker and we see the view from the balcony. You can add as many talent marks as you like and pressing N will jump you from one of them to the next, like that. You can control the order that they appear in by setting the sort order that you see over here inside of each talent marker object. So just number them in the order you want them to appear and that's the order they'll go through, be gone through. And that's really all there is to it. If you want to import something that has one of these add to project buttons, you just skip that first step of doing the migrate, clone my project, and then do add to project to add it to the clone. And from there on, it's just like before. That's really all there is to it. Hope this helped. See you next time.